Hi friends, we're gonna talk about math now. First, I wanna show you our level one learner worksheet. This is a counting activity. We can just take one of these. Um, if you have additional worksheets at home, you can keep watching and see what the next items are on the list. Okay, this one, like we've shown before, is a counting activity, so you can practice together, maybe hand over hand. We're gonna to touch each item, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can also do it in Spanish, and you can also support it with American Sign Language, and those are great choices. Um, alternatively, you can, so you can have them write the number here, or you can do a cut and paste, and those are great choices. If you wanna make it reusable, you just slip it into the whiteboard sleeve, or the dry erase sleeve. One of these days, I will get that name correct. Option number two, is for our level two learners. This gives you a target, so we're gonna practice our counting. Yep, there are four items there. Now we're gonna trace number four, and then we're gonna double check here. Oh, yep, four items. There's our number four, let's trace that. What is four plus four? It equals, hmm, let's think about this. Let's count them all together, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> eight, and then we might need to use our handy dandy highlighter and trace or give a target for our students so that they have the number eight ready and available for them. Alternatively, the number eight is a pretty good one to start with and students might be able to do that on their own. Okay, you can of course do more than one page, but we'd like you to start with one and see if you can do more. There's no pressure here. We just want you to be successful and safe. Our level three learners have the same thing, but with no target. And then for our students who are accessing subtraction, we have this beautiful sheet. This is inherently a level three because subtraction is hard. So always, as with everything, we start with our name and then we're gonna read our story. We're gonna find the number, we'll write the number, and then we're gonna follow the directions to cross off the next number. So this one is page counts five spray bottles. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. She puts away two, cross off two. How many are left? One, two, and three. We often do circles to identify the ones that are still remaining. And so that's a good choice for your student. That's also um, something that they're very familiar with. And you will probably hear them go, and that is my bad, I'm so sorry. That is how we indicate our, it's like the sound effect for the writing that we're doing. And it helps us to stay focused, like there's, for some reason that just really works and that's something you'll see too like if you're having them draw in the air um sometimes students have to do the sound effect before they have before they'll give you the right answer so it's part of our processing now We've, we're really ingrained with it um terribly sorry <laughs> anyway i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and having a lot of fun we'll see you soon i hope bye-bye